gather here to commemorate an extraordinary man, Nelson Mandela. He was, a, he was undoubtedly one of the most extraordinary men to have walked upon this earth, because he made a difference in the lives of not only South Africans, but people all around the world. Nelson Mandela, although a man with the power to reach people worldwide, never overlooked or undervalued the ordinary people. Those who may not be the best educated, or those with the most power, but those ordinary people who, without them, the world could not function. He, would, he saw that it was these ordinary people everywhere who, without them, the world... Oops. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we'll start that again. Nelson Mandela spoke to this at the inaugural BP annual lecture at the British Museum in London in November of 2000. Of course, we want education, because it is one of the most important weapons that we have to serve society and to compete with the world. Therefore, we want that. But let us not assume that the ordinary people are unable to decide the fate of their country. Let us not forget that the ordinary people are the ones who have built the wondrous landmarks of the world. They're the ones who have built the bridges, the roads, the hospitals, and the schools. They elect the government, and so they are not exempt from the ability to change the fate of their country. The man who do, does not believe in the ordinary man does not believe in his country, and therefore cannot believe in himself. Nelson Mandela often referred to himself as an old, unemployed, powerless, and ordinary man, but everybody here, and probably everybody in the world, knows that he was so much more than that. He was a man, as Carolina said, truly changed the world simply by walking on it. And today that is why we are here, to honor him and everything he did for the world. Thank you.